everybody, my name is Trinity Haskins, Director with Market America, and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts with you on three-way phone calls for follow-ups. If you guys can master this, your business will just explode. So I'm really excited to share with you guys. And this is what I personally do, and I've been trained by the best, right? So um, just some thoughts and some tips for you. And this is what we do. So the purpose of showing the business plan is to book a follow-up phone call. If you're not booking a follow-up phone call within 24 to 48 hours, you guys, you're simply wasting your time. Think about it this way. Somebody can be so excited after they leave the appointment with you, and then they go home and Uncle Billy Bob says, oh, I did one of those things back in the day, and um, you know those things don't work, and then they listen to somebody who has not seen what they saw, right? And so at any rate, you're, you're pretty much racing against the fear clock. So you want to keep them excited about what they just saw because this is a life-changing business for sure. So, okay, so here's what I do at the appointment personally to book the follow-up phone call. When I sit down with somebody, I'm going to establish some common ground and, you know, kind of just get to know them a little bit. And then at that point, when I'm going to open up and do my laptop and start going through some of the, the presentation, is I, I basically say, okay, so, you know, Colin, I am going to go through a lot of information with you, and you'll understand that by the time that I'm done. So don't worry about understanding everything right now. We'll book a follow-up phone call, we'll answer questions, and you know, and we'll go from there, okay? And then I start. So I plant that seed at the beginning of the appointment. So I go through everything, shopping annuity, two to three year plan versus 45 year plan, and go through the, the numbers and so forth. At the end of the appointment, what are you going to do? You're going to do JR writing yours clothes, master JR's clothes. It is fabulous and it's perfection. So I say, you know, don't worry understand about understanding all of this right now, Cullen. It's not a $20,000 decision. It's not a $2,000 decision. It's not even 200. We want to make sure you want to blow this area out with us. We don't want your money, right? The most important thing you have to get today is the two to three year plan versus the 45 year plan. That's the, the hardest part of the whole thing, right? The only thing you have to get today. And I tell people all the time, if somebody cannot sell $200 worth of product every three months, it's not going to work out so well for you, right? If somebody can't find a couple of key people, no big deal. We're still going to like you. We're still going to wait to you at church. We're still going to, you know, be friends with you, right? But I'll tell you what, Colin, if you throw this in front of some people, 10, 15 people over the next two to three weeks that you truly respect, put your team to work for you, put us to work, make us sweat a little bit, I guarantee you we get your customer base out of the way. So that's a done deal. That's like breathing. Who doesn't want to make money by shopping online, right? And cash back. No brainer. And, and we identify a business partner or two, you'd be crazy not to do it, Colin. We'd be crazy not to bring you on the team, right? And I shake my head like this. And then they shake their head, right? Kind of no brainer. So I'll tell you what, um, I'm gonna go through everything, or I'm gonna send you a 22 minute video that goes through everything that I just went through with you, okay? So I'll email that to you. I'll get you a copy of the financial report. And at that point, you can stop it. Right, rewind it, look at it again, write down all of your questions, and then we'll give you that follow-up phone call that we talked about earlier. I usually like to do that, Cullen, within 24 or 48 hours. So when is a good time for us to follow up with you? When can we go ahead and do that? And then I just kind of pause for a second. I get out my planner. If you have a planner, Cullen has me all organized on the iPhone and the calendars are synced and all that good stuff. So I take out my calendar and on my iPhone and I book it. And I just tell them, you know what, I have Wednesday, today's Tuesday, I got Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. or I can do like Thursday evening at 6. Which one works better for you? Book it. Guys, anybody's going to be open to a follow-up phone call, okay? And so then at that point, when you're done, you email them what you're supposed to email them, and then you get them on the phone. You, you, you text people, you call somebody in your organization, somebody like-minded that they are going to connect with. Okay, somebody that they might have something in common with and somebody that's gung-ho with Market America. So the three-way phone calls, you guys, they are an extension of your credibility. So if I just sat down with somebody at Starbucks 
and then I do the follow-up phone call, and then I sell them the product, and then I call them to see if they want to go to the next events. I am in convince mode. You don't want to be convinced mode. You want to make sure that I'm not going to leave that person to chance, that they're, they need to hear it from other people that they are successful too. Does that make sense to everybody? So when you book that follow-up phone call, you want to make sure that you um, introduce them and give that person that you're introducing them to the prospect, you want to make sure that you give that person credibility. And it could be, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I have David Whited on the phone, million dollar club member with Market America. He is he has been $25,000, $36,000 a month and been doing mission work for the past five years and had residual income. I am so excited for you to talk to him. David, are you there? You know, and guess what? If you can't get a director or somebody making money on the phone, that's okay. Holy cow, you know, Colin, I'm so excited. I got to introduce you to Cindy Mallard. Cindy is an executive coordinator with the company, which means she's been through this pay cycle that I shared with you not once, but a couple of different times. She's got her customer base rocking, huge leader out here in Chicago area. I'm super excited for you to talk to her. Cindy, are you there? And then you're going to let that speaker you know, then you kind of close your mouth a little bit. Now I'm not saying you can't talk at all or say something, but you're gonna want that speaker to do her thing or his thing. And you wanna kind of be a little bit quiet because you don't wanna interrupt them. You can always call that person back and chat away, guys, because they have heard everything you have to say. Hopefully that'll hit you, okay? Um, so again, give it credibility. So the protocol when you're doing a three-way phone call with someone is, um, Establish if you're okay, if you're the one doing the follow-up phone call and somebody asks you to do it, you basically want to um, you know, establish a common ground. If I know that they have kids, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I heard you know we have a lot in common, we both got five kids, or you know, oh, you know, it's nice to meet you, I've heard great things about you, I'm excited to chat with you. Um, and, and just kind of like a one-minute common ground, if you will. And then we're always going to start with something positive. What did you like best? I know it's a lot of information and I'm here to kind of answer questions for you today, but out of everything that you've seen so far, Cullen, about Market America, um, what, sta what stands out in your mind the most, would you say? What do you like best? And then I pause and whatever they seem to say, I'm like, you know what? I can relate with that, me too. You know, that's one of the first things that I saw about Market America and the unfranchised and I kind of piggyback on something that they have said. Um, and so at that point, I kind of share my story. It's not a huge long story, but how I started and my thoughts and, and where I was and, and so forth and just your big two minute commercial, if you will. And then at that point, after I share, um, you know, I asked them, you know, you know um, I'm glad that you kind of looked at everything. Let me ask you this, what questions do you have um, that I can help you with? What questions do you have about the unfranchise? And they might ask a question or two, and then you answer them. Um, they might not have any questions, but regardless of what they say, your whole goal, and you want to tell the person that's doing the phone call with you, the whole goal is to put the team to work, number one. You want to throw this in front of some people, put the team to work for you, so it's a new brain, a no-brainer for them, right? And and at that point, guys, um, the, obviously you're gonna plug the next event and make sure that you do that. Um, that way they will know by the end of that day at the local seminar if this is right for them. So plug the next event for sure. So um, guys, follow-up is a process. It's not an event. And the last tip that I'll give you is you can use follow-up phone calls all the time. It doesn't have to be just one phone call forever and ever and ever after 48 hours and that's all that they get. You want them thinking about Market America and keeping excited for, you know, every two, three days. You want to drip something, just a little drip. It could be, you know what, we talked about that product OPC and here is the, the daily essentials kit that I, that, you know, the, this person that did the follow-up phone call with you told you about. So I'm going to email that and I'm going to email a profiles of success video with it. Um, it might be giving them a copy of the multi-level versus binary sheet with the financial report. Um, and then I might, after four days or so, I might plug them on the phone with somebody else just to hear their story and keep them excited. So again, just drip some information 
every three, four days until they are so excited and you want to make this a no-brainer for that person. Get them success through moving product, through putting us to work and leading to people, and or you are going to get them to the next event. So I'll tell you what guys, um, do lots and lots of three-way phone calls. That's my two cents. That's the trim tip, the training tip of the day. And uh, really excited because phone calls will explode your business. That's it. Okay guys, I, I totally thought of one more tip that I wanted to share with you, okay? And uh, I'll tell you what, when you are establishing a connection with the prospect and you are asked to do a follow-up phone call, you need to remember one thing. You are there to work for that prospect, okay? And when you are talking with them at the beginning, you have to remember, this is not about you. This is about them and helping them answer some questions. So I do like to share, you know, if I'm doing a phone call for Stacy um, and she's the prospect, I'm going to say, you know what, Stacy, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm really excited to chat with you today. And so what I thought is we could, you know, there's no quiz or anything like that. But what I thought we could do is I'd li love to just not talk at you, but really talk with you, have you get to know me a little bit and, and get to know our team, have us get to know you a little bit and see how we can best help each other out. Does that sound okay? So I'd love to share my story with you um, real quick. Is that good? And then, and then, yeah, 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 go ahead. And then I'm going to do my two minute commercial. Not 10 minute, two minute, because it's not about me, right? It's about them and what you have to offer. Um, you want to help fulfill the need that that prospect might have. Oh, does that make sense? So again, I hope that helps you guys out. You're working for the prospect and you, you know what? I might be just talking with them and, and I might just say, you know what, Stacy? let me ask you this. What can I help you with? What might you be looking for? Because that's why you're there. You want to make sure. She might say, you know what, I would love to pay off this credit card debt that I have. Or I would love to stay home with my children. You know, I would love to retire early. Everybody wants more time. Everybody wants more money. You have a gift that can give that person that plan, if you will. This is a life-changing business. So again, guys, not about you. The worst mistake I see people do when they're doing follow-up phone calls is talk for 10 minutes about themselves, and I know this, and I know this. That's not your job. Your job is to answer questions and get that prospect to move towards the next step. So I hope that helps you out.